Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Genki Gamers and in the video today, we're going to go over all the major changes in patch 2.5. Let's jump straight into the massive guild update. First, you have the newly designed guild overview. Here you can see your guild information including members, total infamy, ranking, and trophies. Next you have guild quests. Guild quests are quests that guild members can all help to complete in order to earn guild tokens. All members of the guild will earn guild tokens for each completed quest, so make sure everyone is helping out. By tapping on a guild quest, you can see details about how to complete the quest and what other members have already helped contribute to it. This is also where you can select which quests you want to work towards. Each member can only work on two guild quests at a time, or three if you have a VIP subscription. You won't be able to get points for the quests that you haven't selected, so make sure you select as many quests as possible before you start your match. Once your guild completes the entire board, the quests will reset to more challenging quests that give more guild tokens. On the Boost tab, you can spend pearls and boosts that multiply the amount you contribute to the quest you have selected by 2 or 5 times. For example, if you have selected a quest to kill 10 ships with a cannon, each ship you sink will count as 2 or 5 kills for that quest, depending on which boost you have selected. Each boost only applies to the very first quest that you contribute to. So going back to our example, only the first cannon kill will get multiplied by the boost. Next up is guild rivalries. Here you will see a group of randomly selected guilds that your guild will compete against. The guild that completes the most quests at the end of the guild season will earn bonus guild tokens. You can see when the guild season ends on the bottom right. This is a great way for you and your guild members to earn a ton of tokens, so try your best to be number one. Now for the most important update to guilds, we have the guild raffle. This is where you will spend the guild tokens you earn for some sweet rewards. It currently costs 3500 guild tokens to take a chance at a random item on the board. Everyone has their own unique raffle board, and once you land on a reward, that spot will upgrade to a better version of the item. For example, if you land on an uncommon critical hit chance perk, you will get that perk, and the next time you land on that same spot, you will get a rare version of that perk. If you land on a 3 star reward, such as an epic item piece, you will get that reward, and that spot will reset back to its initial reward. After 12 tries on the guild raffle, you will get a free spin on the legendary bonus board for the possibility of epic and legendary rewards. With all that said, if you aren't part of a guild, now is the best time to join one. The next big update is the battle replay feature. You can now replay your matches and share them with your guildmates. The first way to do this is to press the share replay button on the endgame screen after a match. The second way is to go to your battle log where you can view your replay without sharing it. This feature is a neat way to show your guildmates a great game you had or review your gameplay for areas you could improve on. Hopefully there will be further features added to the replay system down the road. Medals were also introduced in this patch. Medals are fun bonus icons that pop up when you do something unique in game such as hitting an opponent from long range or damaging an opponent right before a teammate takes them down. They don't give you any bonus rewards but they add a bit of extra flair to the game. You can now see the item levels and perks of everyone's equipped items on their profile screen. On that same screen, you can now also block players from communicating with you. Check out the Blocked Players tab on your own profile to see which players you've blocked. For item changes, the healing of duct tape is buffed by 8%. This is actually a pretty significant buff, but only time will tell if people will start adding this item to their loadout. Hitting an opponent with a Tesla Bolt has always given your opponents a buff that reduces the duration of the next stun that hits them to prevent players from getting stunned over and over. However, every time a player with this buff was shot, they would lose the buff, making them able to be stunned again. In this update, players will no longer lose the buff after being shot, so it is harder to stun your targets with Tesla Bolt multiple times, and you might notice your Tesla Bolt stunning for a shorter duration if you hit them too soon after they were previously stunned. That's all for the major changes. You can read the full list of updates in the official patch notes that I will link in the description below. What's your favorite part of the update? And what updates do you want to see in the future? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.